welcome back to Ink TV. I'm so happy you're joining us for this episode. I have a very special guest, my fellow word slinger, Zuzu. Hey, Zuzu, how are you? Hi, everybody. I'm doing great, Jay. Thanks for having me on. My name is Zuzu, and I'm actually filming this in Pipestone, Minnesota. Oh, all the way from Minnesota. That's awesome. So I understand that you have a super spooky spark to kick off the Halloween season. Can you share that with us? Yes. So this one is called A Moonlit Night by one of our student writers named Malia Coleman. The night was quiet. The only sound that could be heard as Leela crept downstairs was the steady ticking of the clock. Careful not to be heard, Leela slipped outside. The cool night air raised goosebumps on her skin. She shivered despite herself. Leela stepped through the grass, determined to reach her destination no matter the weather. Humming a soft tune, she opened the gate that led her out to the street. Moonlight bathed the street with light providing just enough for Leela to make out the houses on each side of the street. It seemed as if she was the only one in the world who was awake. Almost in a trance, she walked down the sidewalk, her footsteps heard only by the trees. Had anyone looked out their window, they would have seen a strange young girl walking down the sidewalk in nothing but a thin nightgown. But no one disturbed the silence of the night. The next morning, reports of a missing young girl made one small town alive with reporters. While halfway across the world, a young girl appeared on a ship. She would not say her name or how she arrived, and she carried nothing but a small bag. The next day, she disappeared, and no one ever heard from her again. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I'm getting chills. That was so intense. And it ended on a cliffhanger. I have no idea what's gonna happen next. Well, I hope that you at home are inspired by that spark and that's gotten your brain juices moving and grooving and that you're ready to write. Hey, Zuzu, thank you so much for sharing that spark with me. Thank you so much for having me, Jay. Great to see you. Great to see you too, and I hope I'll see you soon in a classroom or online in some Zoom session. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe down below. All right, see you soon.